Welcome to DeepFND. In this presentation video, we will create a model of a 10 feet by 10 feet pile cap supported by four helical piles. This model will be created and analyzed inside our software program DeepFND. We will use the helical pile component of DeepFND, which is identical to our Helix pile software program, and we'll also use the group piles additional optional module that allows us to create a pile cap and analyze multiple piles at the same time. When we start using DPFND in any project, we should first review the geotechnical report and create a list of soils with their soil properties. We can access the soil types dialog where we have a list of default soils created. We can access and modify these soils and we can also update this list by adding new soils. The soil types and soil properties can be defined here to the right and we can define these soil properties manually or with the use of the soil properties estimation tools of DeepFND on Helix Pile. Our next step is to define the actual project stratigraphy. We can access the boring one from here by pressing the button edit boring and at boring one we can define the soil layers by defining top of the soil layer elevation and soil type below this elevation from the list of soils we just created or edited. So in this list I will add at the top elevation minus 20 feet another soil layer which will be glacial till. And by pressing OK, the software updates boring one as instructed. We could also access and add new borings in this list and modify independently all of these borings. The new borings would be available from the drop down in the general tab of the software. Next, we should access our pile and we should change the pile section. In this software, we can select to use helical or non-helical piles. In this example, we will use helical piles. And here we can define the free and the fixed length of the helical pile. So the total length would be the sum of these two uh, values. We will use a depth of 30 feet for the pile. And we can also edit the structural section of the pile. We will create a pipe for inch pipe. And here we can change the pipe diameter and the pipe thickness. So we will use 4 inch diameter and 0.375 inches thickness. All the other properties are automatically recalculated. Down here we can define the helix configuration for this example. And I will leave the default configuration which uses 3 plates 8, 10 and 12 inches. We press OK and the software keeps the changes. Next, we should access the pile caps tab of Tipex, and here we can open the pile cap wizard. In the pile cap wizard, we can define the pile cap shape, rectangular, circular, or triangular, and we can define the pile cap dimensions. In this one, it will be 10 feet by 10 feet rectangular cap and we will use four helical piles two on every direction I press OK and in this new dialog that appears we can readjust the size for the pile cap if we need to we can review the pile positions and structural sections and down here we can define the loads on the pile. In this one we will use a single load at the center rate of the pile cap and it will be a 100 kips vertical load and we will also use 3 kips in the x direction as a lateral load and 5 kips in the y direction. We press OK and the software created the model. From here we can move along y-axis and x-axis so we can locate all the piles on the pile cap. When I select to run the analysis 
the software will analyze and gives us here the most critical results for every pile. So we can see how much compression load uh, is transferred to every pile, the compressional capacity, the tensional capacity, and at the end we can see the lateral results, the most critical lateral results among all stages. If we press exit from this analysis and checking summary, we can also load here the pile moment diagram on X and Y direction, the pile displacements on every direction, the pile shear forces. If we access the pile cap, we can have a top view of the pile cap where we can load the moments on every direction, the shear forces and the displacements on the pile cap. And if we press the 3D view, we can have a 3D view of the model. I will hide the moment capacities. We can rotate the 3D view. We can view the diagrams on every direction and we can use the mouse to zoom in and out and rotate the model. Thank you for watching this video. Visit our website in order to review more information, examples and training videos about our software programs and feel free to contact us to receive information about our pricing or if you wish to arrange a free online presentation.